The book that I believe is worth reading is written by author Beth Huffman. It's the story of a local woman who survived cancer only to face another very difficult situation in which she simply had to cling to God to make it through. Nancy Muller talks with Huffman and Kim Brinkman-Smith about the recently published book, Listen to Me. Hi everyone, we have two very special guests joining us today that will share a tremendous story of faith and will inspire you as well. Joining me is Beth Huffman. Beth, if you might remember, was on my show about three years ago mm -hmm. talking about a book um, from a that featured a story involving one of your former students. Right. And something similar with this new book called Listen to Me, and this book is about Kim Smith, who is also joining us. Welcome to you. Thank you. Well, Beth, you have been busy. I know that um, this book was really completed within a year, wasn't it? Yes, and it literally just happened. The, I, in talking about Kim, she was also a former student, and I had her in middle school, and the emphasis, it would appear, is about her having cancer when she was a teenager. And the irony to that is, and the beautiful irony is, is her surviving and now being a witness and, and testimonies that she shares with people. But after her final chemos were over, and she was 17 years old at that point, we went to Red Lobster for lunch and I'll never forget how beautiful she looked in her ball cap, you know, mm -hmm. having lost her hair, and just as sturdy as could be. And I said to her that day, Kim, you should write a book one day about everything you've gone through. Yeah. Well, to come full circle quickly, I thought the book would really be about her daughter. And Kim will tell you shortly that Avery was born with a hearing impairment. Mm -hmm. And about a year and a half ago, I saw Avery for the first time in our neighbor's yard. And I did not know she was hearing impaired until I saw the hearing aids. And after meeting her, I went into the house and said to my husband, you know, I really thought Run, Amy, Run was the last book. Do you think you could put up with me if I wrote one more book? Right. And so then that led to my wondering, should I call Kim? Would that be an intrusion in their lives? Would she be open to wanting this mm -hmm. done? Mm -hmm. And here we are. So Kim, how does it feel to have a book written about your journey? Because your journey has taken many twists and turns. And um, you know, when you were 16, and at such a, a young, mm -hmm. impressionable age, mm -hmm. um, where you're old enough to understand what's going on, um, how does this feel to have that story put on paper? This is really um, a dream that I've had to have the book written. Um, what I felt back then when I was 16 and going through cancer, I knew I wanted my story to be told. And then as well, when we were being um, in the first several years of Avery's life, I felt our story would be told as well, but I felt my story was going to be told based on my prayers of healing for her. Mm -hmm. And that's what the main struggle for me was, um, accepting that I kept asking God to heal her and I wasn't seeing the results. And so for the first several years of her life, I um, tried to hide as best as I could, probably the anger towards God and the um, depression that I was feeling, not being heard, and probably also the disconnect that I felt from the Lord. And I would go to church every Sunday and praise this God that inside I was really starting to question. And so I was thinking I was going to tell the story and put God in my life and in my plans, mm -hmm. but becoming and expecting, um, and I guess accepting Avery's hearing loss and getting through that journey changed the path. And so God was allowed to use us the way he wanted us to. So this is a, an answer to dreams. All right. 
Well, I'll tell you what, we are actually out of time, but we will be back next week to talk mm -hmm. more with you about, the, uh, about your journey and your writing process. We want to thank both of you ladies for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Back to you.